بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to a special edition Special 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 edition Liverpool show ladies and gentlemen And we're here to talk all things Liverpool Now let's address the elephant in the room I see everyone raging in the comment section I apologize for being late I know I am very late I am really sorry You know I, I figured out what my problem is This is my problem I always underestimate how long I'm actually going to be outside for. So that is my problem. So I need to start estimating this stuff correctly to kind of figure out <laughs> that, you know, maybe I'm going to stay outside a bit longer. So I apologize, Habibis. I love you all. I am deeply sorry I am late. I am so sorry I am late. I love you all. Just got home. We're here. Um, anyway, everyone watching us right now, you guys already know the drill or on the replay make sure you slap the like button make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so um tom little is the reason why we're late so i apologize um on his behalf he ain't even on the show by his fault big up to ryan who sent in a super chat he says big up my brother three class midfielders are being linked with still worried about a lack of specialist dm though love this exceptional channel love you ryan you're an exceptional person for always supporting the channel love everyone in this comment section for waiting this long i really am sorry guys I just need to just, you know, not do this whole thing where I just underestimate how long I'm going to be outside for. Anyway, that's a try on. Make sure you slap the like button, all of you guys. Make sure you subscribe now. Big up once again to Ryan for the super chat. And we're going to address all things Liverpool. And once again, apologies for being late. It's all Tom Little's fault. So, that's fair. I did read Tom Little a bedtime story before he went to his sleep. So, anyway, we're here, guys. We're here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what should I start with. The Adrian contract, Carvalho's modeling career, all of that stuff. There's there's a lot, you know? It's just <laughs> it's just a lot I can start with, you know? I'm going to be real with you. Um, we can talk about... Um, <laughs> um, you know, we can talk about Carvalho's modeling career. How he's going to be, um, you know... Portugal's next top model. We could talk about Adrian's contract. We can talk about Kefren Turam. We can talk about McAllister. We can talk about transfers. We can talk about George Schmatka. There's a lot to talk about. But before I get into the quote unquote positives, let's just address the one thing that has gotten on every single person on earth's soul right now. Let's just go, go ahead and, and, and just get this crap out of the way, just like he's a crap player. Let's address, big up Zlatan for the super chat, by the way. I'm going to put it up on the screen in a sec. Let's address Adrian. You know, wallahi, guys, sometimes I want to cry. Sometimes I want to cry. You know, let me just tell you one thing. You know what I really love about this channel? There's one thing I really love about this channel, and this is not me being arrogant or, you know, full of himself or whatever. I'm just being real. The one thing I appreciate about this channel, something that I've done from the start, is always speak the realness. Let me take everyone's mind back. Let me take everyone's mind back to the time when we were linked with Mason Mount. And I told you, everyone is using this whole homegrown quota stuff as an excuse. Please understand when I was saying it, I wasn't making it up. I wasn't creating some sort of fake narrative. It's the truth. People were using this whole homegrown quota crap as an excuse as to why we're linked to media horrible English players. Now, we just wasted a non-homegrown quota spot on Adrian. You know what did I tell you? How many, how many times did I tell you? How many times? You see, I, I, I suss this fan base out. I always catch this fan base out because I know a lot of the times people just be saying anything. The reason we want to pay 50 million for Mason Mount is because he's homegrown. We've got Ox and Milner leaving that are homegrown, and we're going to struggle with the homegrown spot. Hey, hey. <laughs> Mason Mount. Mason, Mason Mount. Homegrown quota. Homegrown spot. First of all, I'm so happy we no longer seriously want Mount. I think he's going to become a Manchester United player or stay at Chelsea. Second of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. So all along, 
by the top red bots, the robots. This whole homegrown quota stuff was nothing but an excuse. Am I lying, guys? This whole, oh my God, homegrown quota, we need English players. All of that was simply an excuse to try sort of, you know, convince us all of the whole thing. And let me tell you why a lot of these guys are robotic. Because, you know, I'm going to be honest, some of this is on club. Uh, and of course, a massive part of it is on FSG. We have really turned a lot of these fans into nothing but robots. Whatever the club do is right. I sat here and I criticized the club when they deserve criticism. And I say positive stuff about, about the club when they deserve it. People who followed me during the run into the quadruple last season, I was actually the most positive guy. Positive Liverpool fan probably on here when I said we're going to win the Prem. I said we're going to win the champs. I said we're going to win everything but the FA Cup. So I kind of was very positive and I've always been positive and there's a reason to do so. My thing is, guys, please understand, so many things are thrown in your face as nothing but an excuse. Let's all cut the crap here. Let's all be honest. Every single one of us, 245 of you, make sure you've liked and subscribed. Every single one of us right here, right now, know deep down, let's cut the crap. Neither Mount nor Ward Prowse are going to take us to the promised land. We all know that. Everyone who watches this channel, everyone who's listening right now is an intelligent human being. Me and you and everyone here knows Mount wasn't going to take us to the promised land. Neither is James Ward Prowse. So now what can I do as someone who's doing this whole positive crap is try to give you a reason as to why it's being done. So, you know, you can just be quiet and I'm going to dunk on your head top. Ooh, the reason why we're doing all this is because he's a homegrown player. Okay. Let's go get, if we need, really need English players, how about we go get Declan Rice? How about we go get Jacob Ramsey? How about we go get to the actual good English players? People think I'm against English players. You think if we signed Saka tomorrow, I'm going to complain? You think if we signed Rice, I'm going to complain? You think if we signed, uh, you know, Rice James, I'm going to complain? You think if we signed Trippier, I'm going to complain? There are so many actually good English players. You think if we sign Nick Pope as backup for Allison, for example, I'm going to complain? I ain't going to complain just because they're English. I have zero problem with us signing English players. As a perfect thing. I have zero problem with us signing English players. I just want us to sign good English players. So please don't shove Mount and James Ward-Prowse in my face and in everyone in the comment section's face just because he's homegrown talent. Because you know you're full of shit. The whole point... The whole point of the third goalkeeper spot is a Liverpool legend called Andy Lonergan. Someone who you can tick on the homegrown quota stuff and he ain't going to play anyway. And he could be 38 years old, you know, a Jack Butlin, someone of that caliber, probably not going to see the pitch anyway. And man's just hearing it, that type of thing. You know, the whole point the whole point, my lovely people, of the whole getting to, you know, the third goalkeeper, everyone here knows, you guys are all intelligent. The third goalkeeper don't play. The third goalkeeper don't play. <laughs> the second goalkeeper plays, the first goalkeeper plays. Those are the two that can play. So what I want is someone like that. Andy Lonergan some random 38-year-old English goalkeeper no one's ever heard of, just to fill the quota. Man City have, have Scott Carson. Scott Carson. Scott Carson won the Champions League with Liverpool in 2005. 2005. Scott Carson was a goalkeeper at Liverpool in 2005. He was the Liverpool goalkeeper 18 years ago. In 2005, I was 10 years old. I'm now 29. That's how you fill up your homegrown quota, you dumbasses. And now we just wasted our spot on Adrian. We are still the only club in history to give Adrian a contract extension. So please, from now on, the words homegrown quota are banned on this channel forever. You can no longer use homegrown quota as an excuse. There is zero excuse. Zero excuse. Homegrown quota is no longer a thing. It's no longer a thing. 
Mount WordPress. Oh my God, Hussam, we need homegrown quota. Shut your mouth. We just wasted it. On fucking Adrian. We gave him three contracts. We're the only club to give him a contract extension. And we gave him three. Three contract extensions. So, you know, hold that. Anyway, now that we've dunked on the homegrown idiots' head tops, let's talk about one, one more, you know, kind of negative cloud before we get into the positives. Man like Fabio Carvalho. <laughs> uh, man like Fabio Carvalho. As he referred to himself on Instagram as a full-time model now. You know, big up Felipe, who's a long-term supporter of, of This Is Football, have been supporting the channel for a real long time. He said yesterday, I'm not going to support a Fulham kid against Jurgen Klopp. That's what he said. He's a Newcastle fan. He's not emotionally invested. He's not emotionally invested in Liverpool. He supports Bayern and Newcastle. But he made a fantastic point. He said, I'm not going to sit here and defend Fabio Carvalho on the expense of Jurgen Klopp. And actually, Kardash on the show yesterday made a really good point. Klopp actually gives youngsters a lot of chances as long as they you know they have the desire the passion the work rate the ethic you look at just like a Harvey Elliott or someone like that we all have seen here Harvey Elliott ain't that amazing Harvey Elliott ain't that incredible you know he ain't that incredible he ain't that amazing but because he puts himself around the pitch and he works hard and all of that he gets exact he gets uh, you know plenty of chances to play football I look at Fabio Carvalho and there is no doubt in my mind that probably Fabio Carvalho is probably more talented than an Elliot, 100%. But there must be, must be something up with the whole Fabio Carvalho situation. Because the truth is, I'm not going to sit here and defend Fabio Carvalho on the, on, you know, on Jurgen Klopp's head top. I'm not going to defend Carvalho to attack Jurgen Klopp. I'm not. I have nothing against the kid. I wish him the best of luck. It's clear he's going to be moved on. You know, God knows. No one here is going to know the real reason. Maybe he has an attitude problem. Maybe he doesn't have the work ethic. Maybe something has happened with him in club. Maybe, you know, whatever it is. Maybe he simply isn't a club player. We just don't know. We really don't know. So maybe it just doesn't work. You know, and there's nothing we can sit here and we can speak about. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and attack Fabio. I'm not going to attack Klopp. I'm just going to be real with you guys. I'm not going to defend Carvalho on the expense of, 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 uh, you know, of um, Jurgen Klopp. So I'm not going to speculate that there's anything wrong with him. I'm not going to say anything wild. But the truth is, you know, when it comes to, 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 to this whole situation is... Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, it's just, I'm not going to defend Fabio Carvalho in order to attack, you know, um, Jurgen Klopp. So it's, it's the truth. Maybe there's something wrong with him. I don't know. So listen, we will never know. I'm not going to sit up here and speculate. But anyway, I wish nothing but good luck on the kid. I hope he has a fantastic career. But it looks like he's probably not going to have it at Liverpool. Anyway, now we're going to get to the spicy stuff. Kefren Turam, Manu Kone, midfield, all of that stuff. Now, everyone watching us right now, make sure you slap the like button. 310 people are currently watching us. Minimum 200 likes. Every single person watching us right now, please like, like, subscribe, subscribe. Big up to Rayan, Zlatan, Felipe, Kosai, Balaji, and AJ for the super chats. Big up to you guys. I'm going to put up all the super chats on the screen now. Make sure you all like the video now. Make sure you all subscribe to This Is Football this very second. The road to 14K continues, Habibis. So, big up to Zlatan. Thanks so much for the super chat, Achi. Linked with Turam, linked with Kone, possibly signing Mecca. There is hope. Maybe, maybe there is hope. You know what it is? In before selection sends in a super chat shitting on these players. 
I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to cut the crap here. I'm going to be completely honest. Even as quote-unquote negative Hussam, if we sign Kone, Turam, and, and, and uh, you know, McAllister, I'm going to do backflips because that's an unbelievable midfield trio. Some can be, oh, where is the DM? All of that. I'm going to explain further in a second. But my thing is, Zlatan, the reason why I'm not doing star jumps already, everyone here knows it. Liverpool Football Club somehow find a way to let you down. You could be linked with Turam, Kone, and McAllister, and the next day sign Ward Prowse. So I'm not going to sit up here and dance. I'm going to be real with you guys. <laughs> guys, you all know. <laughs> I get clipped. <laughs> I don't want to become a meme. We're all happy right now. Turam, Kone, blah, blah. Hey, suddenly you wake up tomorrow. Paul Joyce Dagger. James Ward Prowse to live for football. Wouldn't you all cry? Be real, man. We would all cry. We would all cry, man. I swear, I'm being real, man. <laughs> the reason why I'm not doing star jumps already is there could be a world in which suddenly, you know, I don't know, man. Like, it's just... <laughs> hey, guys, imagine you wake up tomorrow, Paul Joyce article, James Ward Prowse, keen on Liverpool move. You guys would go from 10 out of 10 happiness levels to 1 out of 10 directly. <laughs> you know, one thing I've learned from this whole Bellingham stuff, I'm never going to celebrate too early, ever. I'm never going to celebrate. That's why I'm always adding caveats now. I'm going like, hey, maybe it doesn't happen. All I'm, I'm saying all of that stuff. Oh, my God. Imagine tomorrow. Inshallah, we all wake up happy and safe. Reading through Twitter. <laughs> Ward Browse keen on Liverpool move. Jurgen Klopp impressed with the Southampton midfielder after he scores against Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool really keen on Conor Gallagher. Jurgen Klopp really impressed with his loan spell at Crystal Palace. Oh God, big up Zlatan. Big up to Felipe. You're actually getting linked to good players, but until I see confirmations, you're still finished. Enjoy Slovakia, Adrian, and Paul Machen. I don't know why Paul Machen is suddenly part of the Liverpool team now, you know? So, you know, I don't know why he's mentioned alongside the Liverpool squad. Um, I will be enjoying Slovakia. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this football. We're here watching Liverpool take on Slavan Bratislava in the Europa League. Make sure you slap the like button. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to address it now further a little bit as well. So I'm going to speak on it. We're going to speak on 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 the on, on all these things when it comes to the future because there's a couple of things I do want to talk on regarding the future as well. But big up to you, Habibi. Thank you so much for the super chat. Big up to Qusay, um, who says... Um, I am interested to know how good Turam and Kone are. I saw highlights, never watched them. Kone looks good. Turam doesn't look ready. Fingers crossed. I mean, here's the thing. People would probably argue that in reverse. People would say probably Turam is more ready than Kone because Turam is also a um, French national. So he's been around these great players. I think he's played for France as well. So, you know, it's. I think probably Turam is a bit more ready than Kone. I like both. Um, I think both are very good. Um, and I'll tell you what excites me about them in a, in a second. So stay tuned, Qusayn. Thank you so much for the super chat, Habibi. Big up to Balaji, who says, Turam and Kone was first called by Hussam. Get him out of my soul. Get him out of my soul. I love this, you know. Give credit where it's due. Big up to you, Balaji, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, spare him from shaving his head if this goes through. Nah, I have to shave my head, unfortunately. Come on, bruv. A true fan. You are. Will we add a center back, you think? I mean, here's the thing. First of all, let me clarify. Turam and Kone are not done. Turam and Kone are not done. Turam and Kone are not done. Because I know Liverpool Football Club. I know my club. We're going to find a way to fuck up something. So let me just chill. Ain't nothing done yet. Ain't shit done yet. But I did tell you about the interest. So thank you so much, Balaji, for acknowledging that. I appreciate you, brother. Regarding the centre-back, every day in life, just in your regular life, you learn something. Every football game you watch about your football club, you may learn something new. All Southampton 4-4 proved to us is 
we can't rely on Gomez and Matip in any scenario whatsoever. We can't. Let's all listen. There is no need to start a Gomez versus Matip mid-off. It's the truth. We can't rely on them both as a duo. I look at this season and that time period where Matip and Gomez played together, we got humiliated most of it. I'm not trying to see Matip and Gomez together outside a Europa League scenario in the group stage. Honestly, I'm being just that serious. I think I wouldn't... Look, I think signing a centre-back is now just as important as signing a midfielder. As much as I've ranted about our midfield, we need a centre-back badly. We badly need a centre-back. And I'm going to get into it as well with the centre-back. <coughs> thank you so much, Balaji. I appreciate you, my brother. Habibi, thank you. AJ says we gave 40-year-old Scott Carson a new contract. Hey, that's a smart new contract. And I would have had zero problems if we sign a random 38-year-old English goalkeeper no one knows about from the championship or whatever. Honestly, I wouldn't complain because we're filling up a homegrown quota spot. My only problem with the whole homegrown quota stuff is we can't, you know, we, you can't have, as you guys say in the UK, you can't have your cake and eat it. You can't use it as an excuse for one thing and then say it's not important the other day. Because the whole reason behind the whole mount thing, the whole reason behind the whole word pros thing is homegrown. Okay, we just wasted the spot on Adrian, so you can't explain it anymore. We got to see if she says Carvalho didn't like George's humor. Hey, he didn't like George's robust sense of humor. Big up, man. Big up to George Schmatka, my guy. Big up to MSFC. We are linked with everyone, but nothing is done. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Actually, Joe, I'm going to put up your super set up in a sec because that's what I want to speak on. And finally, selection says, how does Turam and Kone fix our ball issue? That issue is as big as our midfield problem, in my opinion. These problems don't fit those problems. Are you saying Quadio Kone is not good on the ball? Kefren, I acknowledge. Maybe he's a lot more pace and power than technique. But you cannot, selection. You're an intelligent man. You know ball 50% of the time. You know Kone's actual strength is his ball playing ability. Are you going to deny that selection? You know you can't deny that. You know for a fact you cannot deny that. He's, a ve he's very, very, very good on the ball. He might be inconsistent with it, but on the ball is actually his strength. When I speak to like people who watch the Bundesliga regularly, they tell me like, bro, on the ball, it's very strong for Quadio Kone. So we can't really push that to the side. And I'm about to dunk on your head top when it comes to Turam as well. In a second, and you'll about to find out why. I'm, I'm going to keep this super chat here on the screen because this is what I want to address next. I just want to speak on this as we work our way through to the players. Before I do that, listen. Everyone watching right now, make sure you slap the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're ready to do so. Guys, there's 400 people here. Minimum 200 likes right now. Stop what you're doing. Make sure you slap the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel this very second. Minimum 200 likes. I need us moving like Mo Salah in front of goal, like Haaland in front of goal, like Benzema, like Kane. I need high conversion rate. Slap the like button. Subscribe to this is football right now. Special shout out Selection, Joe, Messi FC, AJ, Balaji, Qusay, Felipe, Zlatan, and Ryan for the super chats. Big up to every single person who sends in a super chat. All the people have shown us all the love and support. Big up to everyone who likes. Big up to everyone who subscribes. Big up to everyone who shares. You guys have been absolutely unbelievable in the month of May. Uh, actually, it feels like <clears throat> it feels more like the year of May. But anyway, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe now. Yalla, 200 likes is our next target. Slap the like button, subscribe. Let me address this now. And, and, and by the way, actually, before I address this, let me address the next super chat here. Felix leaves Chelsea. Let's take him at LFC, man. Balaji, I love you. I love you as a subscriber, as someone who's supported the channel a long time, and someone who even we interact on Twitter. We speak even off YouTube. My brother. Joao Felix is not going to get sold from Atletico Madrid for under what? 70 million, 80 million, even 60 million. Do we even need that for a forward? I'm going to be real with you. I don't need to, as Hussam, to complain about everything. Even forget his time at Chelsea. Let's all, let's all assume his time at Chelsea never existed, right? Let's ignore the fact that he played in Chelsea, okay? Ignore Chelsea, forget Chelsea. I'm saying simply from the perspective of 
we have to pay so much money for him in a place where we don't need strengthening. I'm not going to sit here as Hussam and complain about everything. Salah Elliott, Diaz Gakpo, Nunez Jota. I'm good. Forward line, I'm good. We just scored against Southampton. We just scored against Villa. We, I don't even remember the last game that we had where we did not score. It was such a lot. We always score goals. So I don't think we need to upgrade in that position at all. Big up to Dale who says, good morning, Donald Hussam. Thank you for the great content. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you for the super chat, Dale. And I appreciate everyone here. As I said, make sure you like and subscribe. Anyway, let me just put up this comment now and address what we need to address. Here's the thing. Hussam is interested in Megan Fox. Hussam is interested in Rihanna. Hussam is interested in being a millionaire. Hussam is interested in having a six pack. Hussam is interested in a lot of things. I'm 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 interested in so many things. The things that come through from the interest is what matters. How long were we interested in Jude Bellingham, Joe, and everyone in this comments? Honestly. If we're using the word, if we're using the word interested, you can go as far as September of 2021, where there were Liverpool journalists from three, two years ago, linking us to Jude Bellingham. He's now a Real Madrid player. I still remember one of the first transfer shows I did when we knew the season was over. I said, guys, one of the keys of our success, this transfer window, is how quickly we move. We can't sit on our ass and expect everything to be okay. In the transfer window, as Liverpool Football Club, also because due of our European position, that it's Europa, not champions, all of that, we must move really quickly. We can't sit here and go like, Oh my God, you know, it's okay. The transfer window is three months long. Yeah, it's three months long for other clubs, not for us. We need to move extremely quick. We need to be swift and we need to get deals done. I don't want to get into any bidding war with any football club. Honestly, do you back us? Anyone in the comment section? Forget negative, positive. I'm just being realistic. Anyone here in the comment section, does anyone here back us? in a bidding war against any club, any top club, of course, I'm not saying like against Leeds, I'm saying top clubs. Everyone here be real. Does every does anyone in this comment section, if it were Bayern or Madrid or Barca or Man City or Arsenal or whoever, do you back us in a bidding war against any of these clubs? I don't. Personally, I don't want us to get involved in any, in any bidding war. Bidding war means Liverpool are not interested. It's the truth. Look at Jude Bellingham, by the way. We didn't even get into the race. We didn't even switch on the car and go vroom in the race. We didn't even play a part in the race. We don't do bidding war. We don't do races. Which is exactly why we need to move swiftly and quickly and confidently and be decisive. Let me give you a perfect example because it was mentioned. Let's even move away from midfield before I dunk on selection. Let's move away from midfield. Let's go back to the center backs. Do you think everyone right here right now answer this question? And I love how interactive you've all been. Everyone basically said no for, to the bidding war question. Do you really think we're the only club interested in Inacio in Europe? Be real. Do you think it's just Liverpool that's interested in Inacio in the entirety of Europe? Do you think Inacio only got one phone call? Oh, it's just Liverpool who's called me. Because someone like an Inacio is going to attract interest from all over Europe, we can't sit here and go like, um, uh, uh, yeah, how much do you want supporting Lisbon? Oh, we want 45 million. Uh, can we have him for 37? Like, I understand there needs to be negotiation tactic, all of that. But we aren't the only club in the world who's trying to sign Inacio. Inacio is a very good center back. He's going to attract interest from a whole lot of clubs. Because the truth is, you look in the market right now. You've got Guardiol, who's probably the most attractive, interesting center back in the world right now to most clubs. But after Guardiol, think about it. Who's there? 
Honestly, the center back market right now, meaty. Meaty as hell. You've got like two, three good players. After that, there really isn't anything that's unbelievable. I'm saying unbelievable level. There really isn't anything. You say Guardiola is probably number one. After that, you look at the likes of Antonio Silva. You look at the likes of Inacio, maybe a Timber. After that, it's a massive risk on everyone else. Bella Kochap is a risk. Make no mistake. Salisu, who you want to bring me to? The, all a risk. And then, of course, we have someone living in La La Land. Does anyone here think Ronald Araujo is going to leave Barcelona? No, he's not. Yuvraj, wake up, brother. I know it's late, but wake up. Be real. Other than that, there is so, like, it really is four or five people. Honestly speaking, center back market, it's four or five people. That's it. After that, the list is filled with the risks and just average players. Good players, not amazing, not crap, just in the middle. Which is why I always say us moving really quickly is extremely important. We've got to move very, 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 very quick. If I were Liverpool currently, I'd get Inacio done as quick as possible. I don't even know why Inacio was plan B and Timber was plan A. I'm going to be sorry with you guys. Inacio should have been plan A and Timber plan B. Inacio should have 100% been plan A. That's another thing I like about us this summer. One, hello camera. Don't be not showing my beautiful face right here. This is the money maker right here. Make sure you show it camera or I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Anyway. When it comes to the centre-back situation currently, the centre-back is not that infested with quality all over Europe, you know? So it's just, what, four or five guys? After that, it's literally all risks. It's all, you know, it's all chance. And I'm so happy I mentioned the whole plan A, plan B thing. See, it's not always negativity. One thing I'm going to give credit to Liverpool for this season that we have clearly learned is we're no longer sat here doing only plan A, Hey, it's only Shuameni or Bellingham, or you can get effed. I'm not signing anyone. No, that is such a wrong approach. And I'm very happy that when we now have plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F, everyone, is it, there's it's open season. Which is why, once again, as much as I spoke, I spoke about Kone, people who have subscribed to This Is Football know about Turam and Kone for the like for a month. I'm going to be sorry with you. People who know, who have seen one watch this channel, they know about Kone and Turam. But my thing is as follows. Easily tomorrow, realistic situation. Hello, how much you want for Kone? We want 60 million. Liverpool not willing to pay that, we back out. So this is why I'm not going to sit here and say it's done. Ain't shit done. I will make this crystal clear for the 100th time. The only transfer done and complete is McAllister. Alexis McAllister is going to be a Liverpool player. I am very confident of it. And I see him wearing a Liverpool sh shirt soon. So I 99% McAllister is a Liverpool player. That 1% you have to leave in case Liverpool somehow fuck it up, which I don't think we will, but I think, you know, we're going to sign McAllister. So that's the only guy that, I, you know, I would say, oh my God, it's like, it's sure that we want him. The rest, it's, re it's really all plan Bs, Cs, Ds, Es, Fs, everyone. So, so the truth is, everyone else is just a plan B. And this is my thing. That's a positive. Because it makes us think as a football club. It makes us use our resources smartly. It makes us do all of that. Mo Salah was plan B. Sadio Mane was plan B. Plan A was Julian Brandt and Mario Gotza. So sometimes plan B is, is not something that's really bad. Because Mo Salah, alongside De Bruyne, has been the best player in the league for the past five years. So sometimes having a plan B is actually quite good. If the plan B works out, of course. You've heard me speak on Lavia. The interest in Lavia didn't suddenly die. It's not like, oh my God, we no longer want Lavia. Which is why 32 minutes into this video right here, right now, 32 minutes into this transfer video right here, right now, I am confirming nothing is done. Turam's not done. Lavia's not done. 
uh, whoever Kone is not done. All of these guys are not done. They are all simply options, which takes us back to the stuff I said 10 minutes ago. We need to be quick, swift, and decisive. Don't get into bidding wars. Don't get into, you know, doing all that crap. We, can, we can't. We can't get into bidding wars. We can't fight everyone. We can't sit up here and go like, oh my God, I'm going to sit up here and just wait for people to, to outbid me and shit like that. So we have to be very quick, swift, and decisive. I tell you right now, McAllister, I am 99% confident, is a Liverpool player. So now we move that to the side. We already have one midfielder. Now we need to... Inacio, I love the signing of Inacio. For me, it was between him and Silva, the two that I wanted. If we get Inacio, I... We, we need to move extremely quick. And I am talking about rocket speed. Call tomorrow, Sporting Lisbon. How much you want? Here's the money. Give me Inacio. Done. We honestly, we can't. We, re, we really cannot. We cannot take the chance because the center back market, there's so much options, so much quality everywhere. Center back, if we don't get Inacio, then what? It's Bella Kochap. Oh, ooh, yay, we signed Bella Kochap. Let's all dance. No one's dancing for Bella Kochap. No one's dancing. Anyway, I've spoken on the speed and the decisiveness. Now, big up to Peyrad, who says there won't be a bidding war for James Ward-Prowse. Oh, you damn right there won't be a bidding war. Why the hell should there be a bidding war for James Ward-Prowse? There's no reason for it to be a bidding war. Hey. I, that is, the for me, the worst possible scenario. I'm going to be real with you. Leave World Prowse. I beg you, leave World Prowse. Anyway, everyone watching us right now, exactly what Saw2 Thread just said. Make sure you all slap the like button. Make sure you all subscribe. I want to know, is Selection still here? Because I want to dunk on Selection. Is Selection in the comments right now? Selection need to be dunked on. Where is Selection? Se we're going to get Selection's ass now. So I have to make sure he's in the comments. Make sure you all slap the like button. Make sure you all subscribe to this football if you're yet to do so. Um, we're literally just five likes away from 200 likes, which is our target. So make sure you slap that like button now. Make sure you subscribe to this football. Shout out Peyrad, Dal, Dale, Selection, Joe, Messi, FC, AJ, Balaji, Kosai, Felipe, Zlatan, and Ryan for the Super Chats. Big up to you guys. Slap the like button. Subscribe to this football now. Everyone, now, 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 now. Like, like, subscribe, subscribe. Shout out everyone for the super chats, for the shares, for everything. Now, time to dunk on selects. Ladies and gentlemen, selection doesn't want Kefren to run because he's only pace and power, but he wants Mason Mount. Explain it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, selection wants Mason Mount, but does not want Kefren Turam. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You sit here and you complain that Kefron Turam is only pace and power. And when I asked Selection himself, what does Mount excel at? He said, half turn maestro. Hey, hey, hey. Selection, it's looking peak for you still. It's looking real peak for you, Selection. Let's all let's all collectively dunk on Selection's head top right now. We all love him. He's a massive supporter of the channel, but we're going to dunk on his ass anyway. Let me put now a poll in the comment section. Who would you rather play? And, and I'm going to do this for Selection because he's one of them tacticals. I'm about to put it now in the comments. Who would you rather play? RCM. Right? Who do you prefer? Mason Mount? Or Kefren Turam. That's going to be the poll. No problem. RCM, yes, I agree with you. So there's a poll about to start in the comment section. So the poll is, who would you rather play RCM? You know? <laughs> Turam or Mount? Poll is started now. Here, it's in the community. I want selection to see the answers for himself. The poll, poll has been launched. 
Mason Mount or Kefren Turam. Imagine we are like 10 seconds into this poll and it's already 80-20. My thing is, you can't not want Kefren Turam because he's pace and power, but then, but then want Mason Mount. You say it's my minions. Okay, there's many people here who disagree with me. Many people who disagree with me in the comments right, right here, right now. Oh, my light's gone. My beautiful face. For fuck's sake. Is it that bad? It ain't that bad. Anyway, so many people in this comment section right, right here, right now. So many people disagree with me. Brother, Mason Mount is at 18%. And you need to understand, you know who voted? You know who voted for Mason Mount? The Man United fans, the Arsenal fans, the people that don't want him at their own club. Messi FC voted for Mount because he's a troll. That's who's agreeing with you. My thing is selection. We can't sit up here and be hypocrites. If your reason for wanting Mason Mount is pace and power and he's a half-turn maestro and he can play the RCM role, what stops Kefren Turan from playing RCM? What? Honestly speaking, what stops Kefren Turam from playing the RCM role that you have spoken about 500 different times? What stops it? Well, I'm being dead serious right here, right now. If your logic is Mount can play RCM, then by definition, Turam can play RCM. By definition. It's, it's as simple as that. By definition. See, that's a great point from Torin. Big up to Torin. He says Mount is Prem proven. Was Mo Salah Prem proven? Was Roberto Firmino Prem proven? Was Fabinho Prem proven? Was Konate Prem proven? Was Mate Prem proven? Was Alison Prem proven? It's getting real awkward. It's getting real awkward for the Mount people. None of these guys are prem proven. And if you're going to say Salah was prem proven because he played 11 games for Chelsea and scored like one goal. Thank you. Prem proven hype. One of the best players in the Premier League, KDB, wasn't prem proven. He flopped at Chelsea. Bernardo's not prem proven. Rodri's not prem proven. Haaland is not prem proven. Ake. Used to play in the Prem, but now you look alongside him. Akanji not Prem proven. Laporte not Prem proven. Diaz not Prem proven. Cancelo not Prem proven. Ederson not Prem proven. How many can we mention that's non, non Prem proven? So many. Can't trust these league A midfielders. You know who's also a league A midfielder? Fabinho. You know who's also a league A midfielder? Bernardo Silva. See? My thing is, why do you have to mention Ndombele and Bakayoko? Why don't you mention the real? More, there is so many midfielders. You don't trust Patrick Vieira? See, you went there, I can go there. You don't trust N'Golo Kante? He played in the French League. We can both play this game. I promise you, we can both play this game. All I'm saying is, all I ask for is a little bit of objectivity. You're going to tell me Turam is space and power. Okay, no problem. Turam is space and power. You know what? I'm not even going to argue it. I'm going to give it to you. S. Thank you, brother. Anyway. I'm so sorry I put that comment on the screen by mistake. But anyway. So Turam is just prem, is just space and power, right? No, but hear me out. Turam is just space and power. By definition, if you want Mason Mount, you should be okay with Turam. Because Mason Mount is not known for his on-ball ability. It's all work rate and running and energy and all that. Turam can do all of that as well. As a Chelsea fan, Hossam, he lacks on-the-ball movement and he lacks awareness and gets dispossessed very often. Okay. And I can get you 500 Chelsea fans that say the same exact stuff. And that is my point. When I, when I ask people, when I ask people... Why Why do you want Mason Mount? They say homegrown quota and they tell me half turn, work rate, blah, blah, blah. That All of that is in Turam. 
And the poll, after 170 votes, is 81% Kefren Turam, 19% Mason Mount. And if you remove the trolls from that poll, it's probably like 85% Liverpool fans too. So it's the truth. So we can't sit up here and preach that we want Mason Mount, yet turn our nose at Kefren Turam. And also, let me add one more thing before I just kind of speak on, on all this. Shout out G in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to GTV. We're going to get him on the channel for a club pod debate as well. Let me add even another thing. We dis we have disproved the prem proven logic. We've disproved the home girl quota logic. We've disproved all of that. Let me add another thing. People keep saying, people keep saying this whole, I mean, Charlie, with all due respect, I've just put up Torrens' comment. I've just put up Babis's comment. I've, I've probably put up 10 comments that aren't super chats. You have to put up something interesting and I'll put, I'll put it on for you. But you can't just be saying random shit and expect me to put it. Anyway, also there's 400 people. I can't put up all of them in the, in the thing either. So here's another thing I want to address before I respond to selection and, and everyone. Here's the thing. When it comes, see, this is selections burner right here. The selections burner right here. Anyway. This whole profiles, DM this, RCM this, LCM this, all of that good stuff. Profile my left you know what. I'm so sick and tired of all the unnecessary buzzwords. Kone. Turam, McAllister, I'm celebrating. That for me is unbelievable summer. And I'm going to tell you why. I keep the same energy. All our world-class players, all our world-class players, I'm keeping the same energy for them. I'm keeping the same energy for them. I have not moved on from Mo Salah. I've not moved on from Van Dijk. I've not moved on from Trent, from any of them. If you give Fabinho, and I know people, this might be an unpopular opinion, but Fabinho defending two counterattacks per game was unbelievable. Now he's defending 15 counterattacks every game, and that is the issue. Fabinho himself has not been good enough. I agree. We should be signing a DM. But if we sign those three, I have zero complaints. I think these three are an unbelievable trio. Hell, if we play Trent inverted, ask yourself, do we really need a DM DM anyway? I'll explain what I mean. You look at Arsenal Football Club. They play inverted. Is Partey a destroyer DM? Honestly, let's be real. Is Partey, oh my God, he's a destroyer. He's an unbelievable DM. No, he's just a complete footballer. He's intelligent. You look at our midfield with Trent inverted, with McAllister. Let's let's just assume we sign those three, right? A midfield four of Trent, Kone, Turam, and McAllister will be able to deal with attacks anyway, even without a quote-unquote DM. We would be able to play them in a double pivot. And suddenly, you distribute the defensive work. So instead of Fabinho turning like a garbage truck and taking five hours to recover, you can do all of these things together. They have Odegaard who doesn't give the ball away. We have McAllister who doesn't give the ball away. You can distribute defensive work. In a double pivot, you distribute defensive work. Is anyone going to tell me now? Bayern... Bayern, the team that they won, no, but selection, I know it's not about, I'm dunking on your head anyway. So here's the thing. Bayern's team that won the six tuple. Okay. Bayern's team that won the six tuple. Okay. When you look at that team, can you name the DM? Name the DM. No. Who was the DM? 
هو واز ذا دي ام اوف ذا بايرن 6 توبل تيم تيل مي تيل مي حبيبي تيل مي I need an answer because you see this is now where we have logical conversation. Who was the DM? They played a double pivot, if I am not mistaken, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, which I want to be, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. They played a double pivot, I believe. And I could be wrong. I really could be wrong. But they played a double pivot. I'm even going to the final right now just to check the, the, that I'm correct. Their double pivot was either Tiago and Kimmich or Tiago and Goretzka. Double pivot Tiago Kimmich or Tiago Goretzka, right? Neither of them are DMs. You would, no one here is going to sit here and say Tiago is the DM. No one's going to say Kimmich is a DM. No one's going to say Goretzka is a DM. Would you trust Kimmich playing as a lone six? No, you wouldn't because his strengths are on the ball, etc. But when you distribute the defensive work, it works. So I'm actually giving logical arguments. If we sit here, we play a double pivot with Trent inverted. Why would we need, like, why would we need a DM? If we sign those three, I'm going to be very happy. People saying, Javi Martinez, guys, have shame. Javi Martinez didn't even start in the final. He didn't even, didn't even start in the final. Please, like, let's have a little bit of shame here, guys. <laughs> come on, man. You guys already know the truth. Javi Martinez didn't even come on in the final. You know Coutinho came on and Javi Martinez not. So if we play a double pivot, we can distribute the defensive work. If I play Fabinho on someone, it'll work. If I play, you know, Kone and Fabinho, it'll work. If I play whatever, Trent and Kone, it'll work. If I play Trent and Turam, it'll work. You can distribute the defensive work. You don't have to put it on the shoulders of just one guy. In the Champions League final, they started Thiago and Goretzka. They've played Thiago and Kimmich. Hell, even Kimmich and Goretzka have probably played together. N none of them are DMs, but it works because you distribute the defensive work. And that's my thing. So you've got Trent, who is absolutely unbelievable on the ball. You distribute the defensive work alongside him with someone else, and it works. You don't need Thomas Gravison. <laughs> you know, you don't need like some... I take Ugarte 100%, but just because we don't sign Ugarte doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and, and celebrate. Big up to Joe, who says, James, uh, John W. Henry... I'm so used to the JW being James Ward Pross. I almost said it. Only spends pennies, sell players, keep Adrian. Listen, Joe, here's the thing. His two cousins, his two cousins, the Glazers and the Cronkies, spent the most money when they didn't qualify to the Champions League. So if he follows suit, I hope he does, and we spend money, then we'll be happy because his pockets are affected now. He ate in the Champions League, remember? So, yeah, that's the thing. Curtis Jones is better than Turam. I'll be real. Mount has ability. You just ignore it. Mount is a better passer, better creator, better shooter. I can go on. First of all, all is that debatable. Second of all, my brother, Curtis Jones is the Liverpool version of Mason Mount. Heck, you could argue on the ball, Curtis Jones is more press resistant can probably pass the ball better than Mason Mount. I add, once again, when you tell me he has ability, you just ignore it. I asked you myself, what ability does Mason Mount have? And you said he's a half-turn maestro. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, have expectations based on a half-turn maestro. It's the truth. It's the truth. If you don't think profiles matter, then the scouting department's job as a whole is irrelevant. Profiling is one of the most important aspects. Yes, it is. But I hope I've just opened your eyes to the world of the double pivot. There is 100% a world <coughs> in which we do not need an out and out. DM, I would be happy if we sign Ugarte. Let's assume, our, for the sake of argument, 
Ugarte, Turam, you know, and McAllister. That would be a great summer as well. I'm not. My point is, I'm not complaining either way. I think we could make it work, and I think, you know, it would work either way. It could work with a DM, and it could it could work without a DM. Now, here's the thing, selection, and everyone in the comments. I don't think Klopp is done with Fabinho like we are. There's so many people in the comment section who are fully done with Fabinho. No problem. It's your opinion. I'm not one of these guys who are like, oh my God, you're done with Fabinho. Go support another club. I'm not one of these guys. Some people are done. With... Do we think Klopp is done with Fabinho like that? I don't think he is personally. I think we're going to see Fabinho next season. Inshallah, together we're all safe and, and happy in the comments. So it's a possibility. But my thing is, when you distribute defensive work and everyone works hard for the team, it works. Because neither Thiago nor Goretzka nor Kimmich are any of them, none of them is a DM like that. But it works. And I and I read your comment as well, Selection, because I'm getting accused of only reading Super Chats. I, I, I know. And that's my thing, which is exactly why I'm not going to sit up here and say, where is the DM? I think it I think I really believe Kone, Turam, McAllister would be a great midfield trio to sign this summer. And it's a massive upgrade on everyone we have. And it could take us to the promised land too. Big up to Messi FC who says, bring on GTV, the people's champ, to the next show. Hey, G's gonna come on. You know, he's always welcome on the channel as well. Um I think I'm gonna do a a clop out clop in show because I think him and Jerry James are clop out. Um, Tom Little is undecided, so we're gonna bring on him and Jerry alongside two others who are clopping to kind of talk it over. Anyway, let me just say this now in the final segment. By the way, make sure you all slap the like button, make sure you all subscribe. We have absolutely ruined the like target of 200 likes, by the way. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Big up to Pera, Dale Selection, Ryan Zlatan, Felipe, Kusai, Balaji, AJ, Messi FC, and Joe for the super chats. Big up to every single person who sends in a super chat. All the people who have shown us all the love and support. Make sure you slap the likes. Make sure you subscribe now. Big up for the super chats, big up for the likes, big up for the subscribes, big up for the shares. I must just say this at the end. Why isn't Hussam happier? The reason why I'm not happier and I'm not here tap dancing is do I trust the club yet? They have to win my trust back. And I think everyone in the comment section agrees. Surely they have to win our trust back. And because they have to win our trust back, I don't trust the club yet. I don't trust the club yet to get all of these guys done. So I'm just going to lay low and chill. I've already reported to you all the all the people we're interested in. We're interested in Kone. We're interested in Turam. We're interested in me. all of these guys. We're interested in Lavia. I told you guys 100%. Every single person we're interested in. Does the club get it done? Is a completely different conversation. Once again, we said it earlier on as a joke. We could wake up tomorrow and suddenly we're no longer interested in Kone. I saw someone earlier on mention Spolotsai. I would love for us to sign Spolotsai. I think Spolitsai would be unbelievable for us to sign. But I can't lie to you guys. I don't think there is real interest in Spolitsai. We kind of all just made it up on the go. You know, it's not like we were actually interested. I don't believe we were actually interested in him. Even though I think he would improve us massively. That's where me and Selection agree. And speaking of, thank you so much for the Super Jet Selection. He says, Upgrade doesn't mean they are right profiles to play 3-2-2-3 because they are not. The links suggest we're going back to 4-3-3 in my opinion. But once again, so there's two scenarios I've given you. I've been fair. I've said, I don't think Klopp has given up on Fabinho, like a lot of people have. And I understand if you're angry and frustrated, oh my God, Fabinho, blah, blah, blah. I understand. But I'm, I'm telling you, look at it from Klopp's perspective. I don't think Klopp has given up on him like a lot of you guys have done given up on him. So maybe Klopp still has belief in Fabinho. And if he wants to play the inverted thing, if he wants to be play the inverted thing, Distributing defensive actions will help a lot. So it's not we're not going to sit there and just rely on one guy to stop us from conceding. We can we can it, it, it we can defend as a team better. And by the way, we can defend as a team better selection because we'd simply keep the ball more. So that's that's, that's the thing. So I appreciate your selection. Thank you so much for the super chat. And listen, we're gonna wrap it up here. Inshallah, there's gonna be so many transfer shows coming your way. There's gonna be so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> love selection man so much coming your way once again big up Peyra, dale selection ryan zlatan felipe kosai balaji aj msfc and joe for the super chats big up to you guys um i love you all make sure you slap the like button make sure you subscribe to this football right now slap the like button right now subscribe interest in kefren turam is real interest in kone is real interest in lavia is real but I'm also interested in Megan Fox. I'm interested in Rihanna. I'm interested in many things. It's about getting them. That matters. So let's hope we do get them and we don't bottle this like we've bottled previous signings in, 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 you know, in the past. Um, someone also asked earlier on, will we do a Europa League watch along? Inshallah, we, I plan on doing it. But tomorrow I'm taking my mom, uh, you know, around to, to, to see her friends and stuff like that. So I might be a bit busy, but if we can do the Europa League watch along, inshallah, we're going to do it. So slap the likes, Habibis. Subscribe. Once again, I love you all. And I will see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. Peace.